Hello and welcome to another Art for Alzheimer's Care project video. Today we are going to be making some canning jars. So to get started with this project you'll want to print off the free template. Just use the link in the description and print that off. And you'll also want your watercolor paints handy along with a jar of water and a paintbrush. And so this project involves finger painting, and there's a few ways that you can accomplish this. One way is to brush the paint onto your loved one's finger, and then help them press down onto the paper. There's a unique sensory experience that comes from having the paint brushed onto your skin, and your loved one may like that sensation. This may also require a little bit of hand over hand help for your loved one. It just depends on their mobility and fine motor skills. Another way to do this, which also may involve hand over hand, is to press your finger directly onto the paint and then press onto the paper. Now in my experience, some clients just really don't like getting their hands messy, or some people will mistake the paint for uh, something sticky on their fingers and try to lick their fingers. Um, in this case, you can use another item to press onto the paper. So, for example, here I've cut up an old potato, and I'm using that kind of like a stamp, painting onto it, and then pressing onto the paper that way. So on the left side in this canning jar, I am making some apples. And so to complete these apples, I'm just going to paint in some little seeds and stems. I'm just keeping it very simple. And in the next jar over, I'm going to make some blueberries. So again, using the same technique of painting onto your finger and pressing down or putting your finger directly into the paint and pressing onto the paper that way. I'm just filling up the jar with fingerprints of paint. Once you've got your jars filled up with paint, you can go ahead and use the second template, which will be our canning jar labels. So the larger label on the left is for the larger jar, and the smaller label on the right would be for the smaller jar. I'm just using a pen to write down what is inside the jars. And now that that's done, go ahead and cut them out. And then using your purple disappearing glue, you can glue them onto your jars. Once your jars are assembled, you can go ahead and cut them out. This is an extra step, but it makes the finished project look a little bit more polished. So go ahead and cut them out and use a piece of solid colored paper, like construction paper, and glue your jars onto that background. Now while you're making this project, of course, you may be taken down memory lane. Your loved one might remember their mother or grandmother canning fruit in the summertime, or perhaps they also did it during their lifetime. You may get some interesting stories out of your loved one. 
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you like the content of my videos, please hit that like button. Go ahead and share them with your friends and family. And please hit that subscribe button. I put out a new video every weekend. Okay, have a great day.